Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my first impressions reaction to Shadow's House. So, I want to say right off the bat, I, I put up the last first impressions reaction I put up, I said I was going to try to get to more. And then shit like the holidays and whatnot and everything kind of hit, and it's like, I just didn't have a chance to get to anything else. So it's it's been a little bit since the last first impressions reaction, and I apologize for that. Um... I planned on getting to this and some other stuff uh, sooner, but I just wasn't able to due to those various reasons. So today we are reacting to the first episode of the anime Shadows House, which apparently is confirmed for a second season, I believe. Um, now I want I will say I know nothing about what this is about at all. Like I've never heard of it prior to hearing that it was released as an anime. Um, Except I have heard that it's pretty wild. I don't know what that means. That could mean a lot of things, but that's what I've heard. Um, I've, al I've also heard that it's pretty good. Um, and, and the thing is, I haven't heard this from a lot of people because it's not talked about by a lot of people. Um, I, I, I've like heard very little. Very, I've heard very few people talking about it, but those I have had said good things. And so I'm, I'm very much interested. Again, though, I don't know what it's about at all. <laughs> um, I, I, I really just have no clue. So we're going to kind of have to just find out as we go. Um, based on the title, it sounds pretty spooky, though. Shadows House. A and it's just, it's not shadows as in, like, belonging to a character named Shadow. Like, there's no Shadow the Hedgehog here. It's just shadows as in, like, shadows on the ground of a person or something. So, that's really interesting. I'm wondering what the exact specifications of it is going to be. Um, sometimes anime titles can be very literal. Sometimes they can be very, like, not metaphorical. What's the other word? Like, they could be like a simile, basically. They can explain things uh, vaguely or whatnot uh, on what's going on. It's just, there's a lot to question about it, just based on kind of a vague title like that. So, I, it's definitely something that, again, I've just heard just random passing by very few random passing by thoughts on it all pretty positive and I'm, I'm kind of interested um so yeah i don't know what to expect at all but we're gonna get into it and hope for the best um and although i can't i'm not gonna like automatically promise anything just because of obvious reasons I'm going to say I want to try to get to more of these uh, first impressions reactions sooner rather than later. So I I am going to try, uh, once again, to get to more of these. Um, but I can't promise anything. Um, just because. <laughs> Either way, though, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just get this going. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. I have a lot of questions. I, I'm legitimately really thrown off by this because it's like it, it just kind of thrusts you into it without really explaining anything. 
Like, there's this train at the beginning, but what does it mean? And at the end, you see, like, one this other person, like, glare up at Emilico. But what does that mean? <laughs> Is it Emilico or Emilico? How, how are you supposed to pronounce it, by the way? I'm going to say Emilico. Anyway. Um... So apparently there's this mansion filled with shadow people. They can do seemingly almost anything that regular people can. They can bathe, they can wear clothes, they can drink. And apparently some people are brought in pledged to be living dolls for the shadow people and do what very much looks like a ritual suicide um before one of them who we end up learning is emilico wakes up as uh, as a living doll she seems to know mistress kate right away and instantly knows that she's supposed to serve her though she's kind of bad at it she's a clumsy mess um kate seems to be very nice but very nervous and anxious around uh emilico at first and as they start to get to know each other uh kate begins to teach emilico um how to read and stuff they just get to know each other and apparently according to emily Co or according to kate there's not much for them to do in the house like i guess just on an ordinary basis so that's interesting um and and these living dolls are created to be a representation of the shadows they are made to look like them and made to be their faces since the shadow people don't have visible expressions that can be seen easily um except by like a profile shot um and so these these living dolls are created to be their faces and they look like exactly like them obviously you can't tell on the features but the silhouettes are exactly the same and I and I obviously think that's the point since they're said to be the faces for the shadow people but what does that mean like what is their outside of just like cleaning up the soot and everything like what what is their duties are do they go out into the world in, in place of their masters like how does this all work there's so many questions and, and again what why are there shadow people is it a curse is it are, are are they like actual shadows of people that were like somehow left behind is it is it supernatural in any in any way i i'm genuinely curious i have no fucking idea it's so it, again it just kind of thrusts you into it without any warning and it seems to it seems to start explaining stuff as it goes along and i as i said in the reaction i was waiting while watching this for something to drop for something big to happen something either like scary or important or something huge and and that reaction the one dude gave at the end was kind of like that just not quite to a degree i was expecting i was expecting like something big to like happen or to be revealed or something i don't know um like something like all of a sudden it zooms out of the mansion and it reveals the mansion is in a bird cage or something like that just something not necessarily that wacky and weird but just something like some kind of big reveal to be dropped at the end that's what i was expecting um so this this first episode just kind of introduces us to i guess our main two characters uh mistress kate and emilico or emilico again i don't know exactly which way to pronounce it but it's just kind of introducing them without much else actually happening we get 
a tiny bit of information about things going on here, but only the smallest amount. So I assume this was just to kind of get us into the characters more than anything, while going forward in the series we'll start to introduce more and more as it goes along. I, I genuinely do not know what to think about this, um, but I'm, I'm going to say this. Since this is a first impressions reaction, uh, for those who may not know, those who may be new to the channel or whatnot, basically the idea is we check out the first episode, or, or sometimes two, and we judge whether or not we want to continue watching it on the channel or not, whether we want to continue it as a reaction series down the line. Not right away, but somewhere in the future. And I think I want to continue this. It's it's not like not out of an investment necessarily. Like I'm not like super invested into the story or the characters or anything yet. But the mystery of it is so enthralling to me. It's like I need to know more. I need to find out what the hell is going on here. It, it's just this. It, it, and I think that I I, I want to say that that was the intent. I want to say that the intent with this was that you are supposed to be so confused and thrown off, but in a way that makes you really desire to see more and find out what the hell is happening. Uh, um, and, and I did look it up, and yes, there is a season two that's coming out later this year, in July, I believe. Um, so... Maybe I'll end up loving this series. I mean, it's possible. Um, but this first episode definitely got me interested in, if nothing else, the mystery. And it's not like I don't like uh, Emily Ko or Kate. They seem like nice characters so far. Uh, Emily Ko is very cutesy, and uh, again, with the uh, with, with her being a very clumsy mess, it's like I, I kind of get attached to characters like that. <laughs> um, and Mistress Kate seems very nice and friendly and helpful. Um, so yeah, I'm just genuinely curious as where this is going to go. There's a lot of questions I have. Especially with the fact that, again, this started out with what looked like a ritual suicide. It's like, my god, that's, that's a way to hook a viewer in. <laughs> um, especially a viewer who, like, like me, who absolutely fucking despises the concept of ritual suicide and is just like horrified by shit like that and it's just like you're gonna start off with something that's like as someone who is very empathetic towards people who really gets fucking heated when people are lured into that like within cults and stuff um because that that was very much that's very much been a thing with some cults and all in real life so it's like you you want that's a way to hook me in for sure because that again that kind of thing just pisses me off like but but i'm also curious as to what the fuck it's about like why were they doing that what's what why did they become living dolls because of what what is happening so many questions and I'm very interested to see where where the mysteries lead in that regard. Because it's like you don't just start a series off with something like that. You don't just show an empathetic person like me something like that and expect me to just not need to know more. So yeah, I'm very curious. Um... So yeah, we will continue this at some point. This this will be added to my list, and at some point in the future, we will continue reacting to this. Um, I don't know when, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll get to it when I can, basically. Um, so yeah, hopefully it continues to be pretty good. Uh, but in the meantime, tell me in the comments below, what did you think of this first episode of Shadow's House? Let me know down in the comments below, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.